Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's alright today. It's Monday, June 26th. Currently it's 72 degrees. High today is going to be 83. 5% uh, chance of rain. And winds are at 7 mile per hour. So it's kind of warm, but it could be worse. It's warmer in other places. Um, okay, let's see. Today there's going to be an out and about with Mike and Joy when we went to uh, Little Caesars the other day. It was a, it was a nice day out. It was a good, good day to do a out and about. So check that out this evening. Um, maybe late this afternoon, really. Um, what's for dinner? We, um, I should have a Kroger haul. It's not a real big haul, but it'll be coming out. Let's see. I think, uh, tomorrow, unless I have something else, I don't think I do. Um, so it should be out tomorrow. If I do have something else, uh, it'll be the next day. <laughs> but I don't think I do. <coughs> so, so we... Yeah, at Kroger's, we got some Curly's Barbecue. If y'all have ever tried that stuff, it's really good. It is. it is. It's really good barbecue. Um, and it was regular $6.49. They had the digital deal, and they had, it, they had it on sale, and then they had a digital coupon as well. And it came to uh, $3.99, but it's regular $6.49 is how much it was regular. So that's a good deal. And I think we'll probably just have some fries with it. I, I have to check my slaw mix. I had some slaw mix, but I bet it's not usable now. Um, but cabbage lasts longer than some stuff. But still, I've, I've had it for a little while, but I need to check it to see. If not, it goes in the compost out there. That's the way it goes. Okay. So... I need to do a, a garden update. Boy, this rain has really helped my garden grow. It's doing really good. Uh, I had a, I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday or not, but I had a groundhog. It had to be stand up on its hind feet to, to do it because I've got a trellis around here and around my green beans and everything, my cucumbers. And I got lettuce and carrots in there, all the things that they like to eat on. And, but I've got, you know, these little trellises like the ones from Dollar Tree um, all the way around it. And then I've got bird netting around it. But that those groundhogs are pretty big and they can stand on their back feet. So I'm sure that's what it did because it was above the trellis and the, and the bird netting is where it had eaten. And I saw it out there anyway. I didn't see it actually eating it, but I saw it sitting out there right beside that bed you know so it obviously did it uh no chipmunk would be able to climb up there and eat as much as it did it ate a bunch of uh branches uh, whole branches and everything leaves and branches uh just stubs left of where you can tell where he had eaten it down to so um it'd been a while since i put any cayenne back out there because it had rained you know quite a bit so i put more cayenne out there i hope that'll do it because uh, it'll just keep eating them, you know, if it can reach up like that. Um, I, I yelled at it and it took off running, but uh, it, it must like uh, green bean leaves and green and stems because there was no, nothing even left, like pieces on the ground or nothing. But it got quite a bit of it, so I'm hoping that's. I put a little bit on on the actual leaves, not much, but I put it down where it would have to come up to it and it would have to smell that even just standing close to it I think it would smell it so I'm hoping that that cayenne uh, does the job there because I don't really want to have to cover the leaves with it I don't think it'll hurt them but um, every time it rains you'd have to put some more on it so I don't know I just have to keep an eye on it closer because they'll eat I'm surprised it hadn't eaten the, some of the plants over here uh, in the containers, you know. I've got zucchini. I thought it would probably eat and it hasn't touched it. Uh, and tomatoes. It, it, earlier in the year, it had eaten some of the tomato, uh, you know, stems and leaves. 
and nothing usually messes with tomatoes or peppers so anyway that's how it goes you got your you know struggles a little bit sometimes with your garden so i hope you know the peas i planted them three times and it was birds mainly eating up the the sprouts every time they came out so i don't have any peas okay i got some nice new i mean uh, today's tidbits I keep hearing about train derailments y'all i mean i don't know what's uh they not take care of the tracks better and the bridges and stuff like that anymore because it says train derailment causes bridge collapse so the see it de derailed that caused the bridge to collapse uh, I, that makes sense too if it came off the tracks and was like to one side it's not made it's made for it to be on the track uh, in uh, spill in Yellowstone River look at that uh, a, the, a bridge that crosses the Yellowstone River in Montana collapsed early Saturday, plunging portions of a freight train carrying hazardous materials into the rushing water. The train cars were carrying hot asphalt and molten sulfur. Officials shut down drinking water intakes downstream while they evaluated the danger. The train crew was safe. Well, I'm glad everybody was safe, but I'd say fish... Uh, you would think that would affect fish and have a bunch kill a bunch of fish. We'll see. And you know the, uh, this uh, missing actor Julian Sands has been in tidbits for several days now. Uh, I think there was a couple of them. Uh, so they they went up there, or either some hikers hikers found. It says human remains found during hunt for missing actor Julian Sands. Human remains have been found near the search area for missing actor Julian Sands in Southern California. Hikers discovered the remains in Mount Baldy Wilderness. Identification of the remains is expected to be completed next week. Sands went missing while hiking in January. Search efforts were hindered by poor weather until recently. Well, that's probably him. I'll be surprised if it's not. Um, but I don't know. I figured that since January, I mean, there's no way he had enough of anything to survive uh, that long. Okay, uh, so let's pray for his family if it turns out to be, to be, you know. Uh, heat stroke alert. Know the symptoms and save lives. Heat stroke is a severe heat illness caused by overheating. Symptoms include rapid breathing, increased heart rate, nausea, and headaches. A lesser known but crucial symptom is feeling so hot without sweating due to alcohol intake. If someone shows heat stroke signs, they should be cooled down, given fluids, and medical attention sought immediately. Meteorologist decides to quit after receiving disturbing, well it's emails, it says mails, but it's emails. It just shows a picture of him. After receiving threats due to his coverage of climate change, an Iowa meteorologist says he developed post-traumatic stress disorder and is leaving his job. Chris Gloninger made the announcement that he will be leaving his position in the television industry in July. He shared a series of disturbing emails he received regarding his coverage. What? What would you be, I mean, how could you be really, you know, do something like that just over them talking about climate change? I mean, hmm, it's, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but obviously it happened. I mean, it, it's not worth threatening somebody's life. Okay, let's see what we got here. I thought I saw a, another, uh, there's a gr another grocery outlet uh, manager special this time. And they've got, those are obviously ballpark Franks, 15 ounce, $1.29. And it doesn't, see, I can't tell what the name of that is. It's a roasted almond dark chocolate bars, 3.1 ounce uh, for a dollar. That's really cheap. 
I can't tell though. It begins with a C and ends with an A. Uh, looks like Ritz uh, name brand original buttery crackers, 10.3 ounce for $1.99. And I can't tell what brand this is. It's premium sliced mangoes. It's in a jar for $2.99. It's a nice little jar. Oh, and those Totinos, oh, those Totinos, I think, pizzas. Uh, for a dollar each cheese or sausage. I don't think I would like the sausage one So that's what's going on with grocery alley. We hadn't been there in a little while. We're gonna wait until after the first of the month probably uh, to go uh, Where is uh There it is Huh Finding community in a disconnected world, spirit, spirituality courses explores life big, life's big questions. Per a recent announcement from the U.S. Surgeon General, many Americans are experiencing high levels of loneliness, in part a lingering symptom of the pandemic isolation. Add to that rise in social media use and decreased participation in organized religion, and cultivating community and connection is more important than ever. That's why he, uh, Casper, oh, this is according to author Casper something. That's why he and Alec Gerwitz co-founded the Nearness, an online cooperative offering eight-week courses in which small groups of people meet to self-reflect, experiment with secular spirituality practices, and develop meaningful, supportive connections with one another. In short, it's an invitation to explore life's big questions with a lot with like-hearted other people. Classes include breath and body work, journaling, poetry readings, and other activities designed to foster a sense of conscious attention in, to the inner and outer world. And the courses aren't exclusive to those who don't subscribe to a specific faith Nearly 40% of participants are religious in some form. There's something really beautiful about being able to show up for other people and then having them show up for you. So there's this mutuality of the experience, which means people kind of learn to love each other. That's what it comes down to even across distance and difference. It's really beautiful. Okay. Uh, Sunday, they seem like they have some of the ones I've already done. I'm not for sure if I did this. I think we did that. How about, how old do you feel? Research finds health benefits in feeling younger than you are. Looks like she's skydiving. <laughs> Many children are told to act their age, that is to behave with more maturity by those senior to them. But research shows that the guidance is not as applicable to older adults. In fact, it may actually be healthiest to pretend you're younger than you are, as delusional as it may sound. I thought I heard a, a squirrel climbing on that pole out there. They, they pull, it pulls the bottom out of the bird feeder, the one bird feeder on the right, and then dumps all the stuff out <laughs> and it's on the ground that way it can get it so I don't put much in that one anymore I used to put actual you know fill them up but they would just they would dump it all out and eat it all in one day or something um, they, they really pig out out there okay <laughs> Uh, in one April study, participants said they felt an average of 11.5% younger than their chronological age. The study also found that as time goes on, subjective age is getting younger for middle age and older adults. Other research has discovered links between a younger subjective age and, an actual, and actual measures of health, including longevity, greater life satisfaction, and lower dementia risk, per the Washington Post. We know that those who feel younger are healthier, psychologist Marcus Wetson, who co-authored the April study, told the outlet. They also remain healthier over time. If you're not yet in that feeling young camp, 
though never fear, from engaging in physical activity to combat, combating negative ageist stereotypes, there are ways to feel younger. Click below to read more. So I don't want to do that. Hmm. Just trying to see what they've got some stuff. Did you know today? Today, well, yeah, is Global Beatles Day? No, that was yesterday. It was Global Beatles Day? Beatles Day. So. Okay, I don't really see anything else. Here's a quote of the day from Sterling K. Brown. Empathy begins with understanding life from another person's perspective. Nobody has an objective experience of reality. It's all through our own individual prisms. Okay. What does prism mean for that? Your own individual prism? Is that something like you look through? Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what he meant by that. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this morning's coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Check out our out and about to Little Caesars. Um, we had a good pizza. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day, and God bless. I do show the pizza in the out and about, too. Bye, everyone.